Uh, yeah, so uh, this is about uh, uh, mitigating human wildlife conflict and you all know that uh, elephant can break fences in different ways and uh, this is not uh, something new. So the only solution that uh, I came out with is uh, called hanging fence where you have the wires running on the top and uh, hanging fence has a lot of advantages where it is permeable, impermeable only to the elephants, but it can allow all the other animals and people to can go through, vehicles can go through. And this was established in 2018 in, uh, uh, in, in, in one of the dumping areas in, in Sri Lanka. And uh, where it was first, sorry. It was first established, uh, when it was first established, the elephant's first, first experience was like this. And uh, they knew that uh, these wires have something to bad for them. And so they never saw these wires coming from the top, but they still didn't want to touch it. And they are very careful in not uh, touching them. So that was our first success. And then uh, uh, in a place where we put it at the dumping area, you could see a huge tree here, right? And then you can see the fence uh, uh, hanging on that top. And uh, this is my first experience. And uh, within, within a month, within three weeks, he pulled that tree out of that and tried to break the fence. But he couldn't because wires are hanging from the top. And it touched all the face, all over the face. And a lot of sensitive parts in the face uh, got uh, shocked very badly. So he put it there and then just went. So that was the first success. And from 2016, it has been functioning in uh, Sri Lanka. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, I, it, it is not been kind of uh, appreciated in my country. But fortunately, the neighboring country, India, invited me to come and uh, uh, demonstrate the French. So the Karnataka government invited me. And then we uh, went there and uh, demonstrated the French. So this is one of the after two years, this was... Welcome to the last online event of this year of Friends of Elephant. We are very happy that all of us have joined this evening for this event. A conversation between uh, Tim, Mr. Tim and uh, Mr. Mohan Raj. Um, the theme of which is technological solutions for elephant science and conservation. Uh, Mr. Mohanraj has lived all his life in the Nilgiris and worked in the Hindustan uh, photo film. Uh, in 2005, Sir has taken over uh, WWF India's elephant project and worked uh, in scaling up uh, from one field station uh, to encompass the entire uh, landscape. This is a wild lab net, which is uh, actually a, uh, it's a complete open source and you have, you name it and it's already there. Okay, whether you're uh, going to record uh, sounds, whether you're using uh, camera traps, everything is there and they are, uh, there are technical people who are willing to help you to take this forward. So things have changed a lot on wildlab.net. Anybody can become a member and you can also, if you have uh, a technology like uh, Tim has got, he could also share the technology with them. And under such a system, we uh, met uh, Vijay Mohan from Sri Lanka, who gave us a new design for the electric fence. This, uh, uh, this has changed the way uh, uh, India is handling uh, conflict, especially our landscape. We find that the hanging fence, which Vijay Mohan of Sri Lanka has designed, is helping us. We have got already about 300 to 400 kilometers of fence erected. And it is saving uh, uh, problems of elephant ray, crop reading or uh, other issues. So this is in uh, two years. Uh, they have already done uh, 300 kilometers of uh, fence in India. Now, uh, recently I heard that they have even done, uh, gone beyond 1,500 kilometers in Assam, uh, Tamil Nadu, Karnataka and Kerala. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, now we have uh, again another... And uh, again, uh, you all know Professor Sukuma, and he also endorsed this uh, in a way that... Hanging wire fence. This is one of the most useful designs that has been introduced by Sri Lankan scientists to India. Mr. Dr. Vijay Mohan gave this concept. India invite Pandanga in the hanging wire fence. 
This is the most effective so far. So we are really thankful to Sri Lankan scientists for their innovative thinking. And this can solve the problem because very cost effective. From a cost effective how we do it. So this is very cost effective and uh, it's very uh, uh, kind of 100% uh, successful so far. I always say so far because uh, I know elephants can come out with new ideas, new ways to break fences. So I'm so far, I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. So if it breaks, then we can find out how it breaks and we can go to the new technology. So that's how it works. And uh, in fact, uh, in fact, uh, in Manas, uh, there have been a lot of projects have been going on, especially by the WT, uh, Wildlife in Trust of India. And they have put a lot of these fences. But uh, when I introduced this fence to uh, Karnataka, Madikeri, so it was only a demonstration. So I could do it only on, uh, uh, I had to put it on two sides because this fence is based on one side, uh, it's protected and other side is open. So, but in Madikeri, we couldn't find a circle. So we had to put it only on one line. So what I did was I had to put it on the fence, hanging fence on the both side in a T pole, so that pole is protected. But India has got, that is the best idea, and they have already done with T type of fence in many places. So, in fact, uh, in the recent uh, uh, 2020 uh, Indian uh, government uh, uh, best practice of uh, uh, elephant management, they have included uh, the hanging fence is one of the most successful. So, fortunately, India has uh, uh, taken it up, but unfortunately Sri Lanka is not, hasn't taken up still. But again, this fence has uh, some uh, shortfalls because uh, in our country we have a lot of peacocks flying. So actually we had, I had it two lines and wires hanging at one meter in between and then it is effectively it is half a meter. But when the peacocks flies through the fence, it could put the wire on top of the other one and then it created a gap. And Based on that, and other one is it has taken much larger space of eight feet from the pole. So now we have modified it uh, to overcome all those problems, and we have got it only one uh, single line, which has been now patent, patent filed uh, in Sri Lanka at the National uh, Inter uh, Property Rights Office. So that's the situation at the moment, and I hope this will definitely. Uh, help uh, mitigating human elephant conflict in many parts of the country, especially for the Tuskers, because Tuskers now cannot uproot this fence at all, because this is dangling, and uh, with the wind, they will touch everywhere, and the Tuskers have no way to pick it up, and uh, it's all the above the head. So in Africa, this will definitely work wherever tux Tuskers are there. So this is my invention I want to share with you. Thank you. Thank you, Mohan. Very innovative. And I know Dr. Sukuma, Professor Sukuma, and endorsement by him, I can assure you, is very, is endorsement indeed. We could do with more of that in Africa, I think. Right, anybody, a quick question? In the future, what do you see failing in this fence? As you know, you're probably going to see an elephant figure out how to get around it. Is there anything that you can foresee that's can be problematic. Yeah, I, I believe we are uh, definitely we are smarter than elephants. So we'll let's just wait what they are doing, and then we'll find a solution. <laughs> so I don't know how they are going to do it, but uh, once they try to make it, uh, we'll definitely find a solution. Yeah, from my own experience in Africa, I can tell you that if there's one one animal gets through, everyone's delighted to say this doesn't work. But someone like Mohan will tell you, if he's sorting out 98% of the problems, it does work. People very much, especially communities, focus on the negative, the one or two negatives that there are. All right, thanks very much. Thank for you that. very much, thanks. The next person to come up.